Hi everyone, today I want to show you a very special plant in my collection that I seriously never thought I would ever get. So stick around, I'll show you what it is. Today, I wanted to show you my elbow. My, not this elbow, but my Monstera elbow. I received back in June, I think it was June. Back in June, I received a Monstera uh, elbow. This right here, I'll put a picture of it in here. And I got it from Rachel at Heart Shape Leaves. Thanks, Rachel. I love it. I have been through the ringer with this plant. I have had any and all emotions possible with this said plant. Um, I thought at one point it completely loved me, and then I thought you're just going to keel over. So I wanted to show you my Monstera elbow story and what I did in order to hopefully save the one and only beautiful Rachel <laughs> is what I called her um, in my collection. So stick around and I want to show you how or if I still have it. So after my little journey, and I just kind of showed you in pictures what the journey has been so far, I wanted to kind of take you into even a more in-depth um, way and how I personally have made it survive. Yay! And I want to show you how it's doing now. But before I do that, I wanted to tell you a little bit something that I had no idea when it came to moss propagation, because I've seen people propagate the Monstera elbow in water, and I've seen them propagate it in LECA, and I've seen them propagate it in moss. Um, when I got it, I specifically asked Rachel, because I was scared to death of this plant, <laughs> and we've gone back and forth many times, and she can attest to it, uh, about how to properly care for it because when she sent it to me as you saw it just had an aerial root and a leaf on it and unfortunately as you saw the leaf did end up dying but the node was still 
really good. So what she told me to do is bypass the water and go straight to moss. Well, that was the first time I've ever had any workings with moss, so to speak. So I'm going to show you because I felt dumb because I didn't know how to use the moss. So I want to personally show you how to correctly use the moss, whether you use it in a prop box, which is what I actually have on other plants. Now that's, this is just my preferred way of propagating. I, every time I use water, it seems to just rot. That's it. So I have this moss and how I get my moss is in the brick and I'll show you right here. I get mine in the brick and I order it off of Amazon and it'll be listed down in the description box below. But I took some of this moss off and you could reuse moss. That's what's really cool. You can reuse moss as long as you, you know, just clean it and everything. So this is just some of it. And as you can see, it's really dry and it's really messy. <laughs> and I have a bowl of water here. And all I'm going to do is take the moss, I'm gonna lower it down so you can see. There, take the moss, give it some squeezes in the water. And then this is how you properly, you don't wanna have too much moss or too much water in your moss because if you do it's going to rot your plants and I've actually th am guilty about that with the plant at first so just as you can see you can get a lot of water out of it and you want to get as much water out of it as possible there so it's now it's hydrated and everything and it's barely damp and that's how you want it because moss will hold on to water and because it's so light and airy the roots totally totally love it so let me wipe my hands and i will show you how my baby looks now and i love these this comes in a set of three and I have this listed on in the description box below as well. Comes in a set of three, and I use these for bottom watering. I use these for replanting. I use one of them for, I use them for everything. So check them out. So now let me show you my Monstera elbow. Here she is. I'm gonna give you a tour. This leaf right here, as you can see, Oops. As you can see is a half moon. This leaf right here seemed like it took forever to um to show up. And like I said, all the stuff I showed you beforehand, it took basically from June on the end of June, beginning of July until I would say September, October, probably more of October. And then it's just been growing like crazy. But I keep mine in my Ikea greenhouse. And so it does get about 82% humidity at, uh, at all times. And it's under grow lights and everything. So let me show you. The other one. This is the this is the second leaf it put out. Love all that green specks. And then this brand new baby just unfurled this morning. It's still hardening off. But it is Look at all of the there's just little teeny freckles of green. So one thing I noticed about this plant is, especially the node that I had, 
it did I was assuming it was going to do it was I was assuming that it was going to make roots before it made leaves this one made a leaf and it didn't give me any roots so now I wanted to show you since I have a total of three leaves on here let's take it out of here out of the moss and I haven't done that at all so let's take it out of the moss and we'll see how it looks I'm gonna put you down right here Yeah, all I had, oh boy. Now these right here, this is something I got from Ikea and it hangs on pegboard in my um, Ikea greenhouse. I will link the videos of, for that playlist so you can kind of see what I have put together. But look, I was so afraid that this wasn't gonna grow any roots and there's a long root right there. So I'm going to take some of this moss off. Just very, very gently. Just kind of tickling the, the roots. And this moss is still pretty kind of damp, not wet by any means, but just damp. And when it does, if I do you notice that it's getting a little a little dry what I'll do is I have this is my favorite thing this pump spray bottle and I'll lightly spray the top part of it and just kind of give it some give it some moisture oh wow okay so this right here this little nub right there Seriously, I thought was where all the leaves were or all the all the um, new roots were gonna come out of But I was wrong I was so wrong. It came out next to it and I don't want to mess with these two too entirely much But look at how much I don't have much moss on there a lot of these are Oh, I love you. This is Rachel. Isn't she beautiful? Yes, I love this. Now, this particular plant, I have noticed, does take an awful lot of patience. <laughs> an awful lot of patience. And I was so blessed. I am so blessed to have this in my care because truthfully I I don't think I'd even have one. Oh my gosh and look right there right there looks like there's a new aerial root going down into the soil or it could be a new yeah that's an aerial root right there. So those are the, I'm excited. So this is my Monstera elbow. Like I said, I was blessed by this by Rachel. Thank you, Rachel. That's why I named her Rachel. And all I do is just was very patient. And she told me this is going to be a game of patience. And she wasn't wrong. She was not wrong at all. So I am going to repot this back up in here. I'm going to repot this back up. And then I'll show you how I missed the how I missed the um, the moss. I'm going to put some in there. Set her in here. It looks like the next time I 
I do this, she's going to have to be put in a planter. And just fill it in. Fill her in with moss. She's back in her home. And then I will insert pictures of where she's kept and how she's kept. So that's it, my friends. This little baby I have been I have been coddling for quite a while and I can finally say after many nights of being worried about losing it I think I actually can take some breaths and Rachel's gonna be great so here's what I do for the here's my my pump sprayer and then all I do is I just moisten the top of the soil a little bit and you can see it go down there you go look at that root right there sorry for my light yeah next time I check on her roots she's gonna have to be potted up in a big girl planter ah uh, yes so I will keep you posted in the future of how Rachel's doing. But this right here is my baby. I love her so much. And she's pretty easy going. Like I said, I keep it, I keep her in my Ikea greenhouse cabinet. And I'll probably keep her there until she doesn't fit in there anymore. Just because she loves the humidity. She it seems to have the real the the proper um, moisture that she wants in her in her soil or her moss, and she's happy. So I'm not gonna I'm not gonna change it. So if you guys have any questions, I am no pro. I was so scared on how to use this, but thankfully, like I said before, Rachel walked me through it. If you have any questions on propagating with, with moss, if you have any questions for me, if you have any questions on the elbow that might scare you that maybe I can help you with, I'm no professional, but maybe I can help you with, um, feel free to reach out to me either in the comments below or message me on Instagram. And uh, yeah. This is my baby, the project that I've been working on for a while. So I'll give you updates on her. But this one is, let's see here, the six month. This is six months of her being in my care. So for six months, I think I'm doing pretty good for six leaves and a full root system. I'm not going to complain. So you guys take care, stay safe, and keep smiling. And let's talk soon. Bye.